Hi everybody, I'm Dan from Cart and Horse. Thank you for buying our material pack. Today I wanna to walk you through how to use this material pack and how you could use this for your work inside of Unreal Engine 5. So you can see in here, I uh, opened it up. This is how this should import inside of your content. You should have this Cart and Horse pack, one or pack 01 or Pack 02, depending on which one you bought. And once you open it up, you should have all these material instances here working or ready for you to use. So these are organized in, we have the textures folder and the material master, but to start off, I'll just go through a material instance and show you how you could use this. So for example, I will show you how to apply this and I'll show you how, this, uh, how we can change this up. So to start, we have this shader ball uh, inside here. We're using this to mock up. When I open this drawer, I can pick any material that we want and we can just drag and drop and throw it on and you could easily start to see how these patterns are working, um, masking out these different PBR materials in here. So we open this up, pick a material from here. This one looks just great. <clears throat> so you can see inside this material instance, um, we've got this mocked up with three PBR based materials. There's a leather, there's a gold, and there's this fabric material. Um, you could use whatever you want. These work with mega scans just great. So if you want to import those into your project, you can pull these in and start having all sorts of fun. So as you can see, when you open this up, usually nothing is checked on other than these few basic things to start. This is composed of three material channels. There's Matte B, Matte G, and Matte R. And you'll see when we get into the textures why these are broken down into RGB um, categories and how these break up in here. So we'll go back up to the top one. I have this base texture loaded in, which is leather. This uh, specific material supports about four different uh, images. There is a cap at this point with Unreal Engine 5. Eventually, it sounds like they're going to increase the cap they can have for images, but for now, this is kind of the max that this can use. So we have our base color, which is leather. We have our normal and our roughness. All of these can be tweaked. There's additional parameters in here, so if you want to adjust the color on these, you can do this however you want and kind of tweak these and have fun with it. I'm gonna reset this for now and collapse it. There also is an emissive texture. We've found that from playing with these, we can check this on and you can load in an emissive texture. The one that's in here by default is uh, set to black and it's not going to line up, but you can pick a texture that you want to work with this or you can mix and match some of these, but these can give some really great effects if you're using the emissive channel on this. Uh, reset this back out. Uh, normal intensity. Um, you can play with some of these. There's a roughness multiplier, so if the PBR textures aren't quite doing it for you and you want to go a little more stylized, we can push these to make this leather more matte. We can make it extra shiny, you know, whatever it is that you want, or flip this to metal and not. Um, these mix metallic and just a lot of elements in there, so you can make some fun abstract stuff with this and you get some really cool effects um, inside your work. And the other thing with this too is uh, there are independent controls in here, so each texture set is divided into its own. We can go in and scale this down. Um, oops, I guess that's the leather. You can see the UVs are controllable for each texture set. So you're really controlling the leather behind the mask, the gold, and this fabric, and they can all be controlled independently. Let's scroll down to the bottom here. Um, this material specifically is using this um, P underscore Mandala 108. It's using this RGB mask pattern for this pattern. We're also using the normal map as you can see here. So if I turn this on and off, you can see, you could have it flat if you want this to be more like wallpaper, but if you want this to have a more, um, you know, textured, stylized effect, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can flip this on. The main key here is, is if you're using the same texture for the normal as the um, mask, your UV tiling is going to need to be the same, otherwise it's going to start getting a little weird. We don't want weird. At least too weird. Um, and then last but not least, and here, like I said, if these are um, 4K, they're all tileable, so we can crank this up to whatever and you can start to see how these patterns can start to play. So if you're wrapping this around a character or putting on whatever you want, there's a fair amount of control that you can go in and change out some of these things. Um, like I said, even with the base color shift, we could shift this to something like red, and now you can start to see you have this red metallic uh, texture on here. So when animating, when moving across with camera moves and different lighting, it's a good way to get a lot of like 
cheap detail with a nice effect to it. So let me just close out of this. So the next section I want to show you guys is the Material Master. I won't spend a lot of time on this because you really probably won't be messing around in this too much, but you can see how this works. And if you do need to troubleshoot anything, for example, like for whatever reason something breaks and it's missing a texture, you can go back in and relink this worst case scenario and it just shows you a little bit more about how this material is set up. So each channel has a PBR setup, so it defaults to this base texture that we've included in here. And then there's also a color shift that's attached to this. So if you have this gold and you want to modify this to be something different, you can then shift it with this. And then there's also a toggle inside the material. So if you don't want to use textures and you want solid colors or something more flat, you can flip it and then having this in here is an option as well. Uh, metalness value you can control and you can see how this is all broken down. So all these controls for base color, roughness, normal, emissive, all of these are mapped into each channel. So you can control each channel that you have completely independently. Um, and then you can see here, just the mask goes in and you know, masks it all out. So you guys can play around with this if you want and look at it, but if anything breaks, you can always look back here and kind of see, retrace your steps. Um, textures go into here. We've included all of these in here. Currently this material pack is only actually using the RGB textures. If you want to do some work with custom roughness maps or play with emissive or you just need a two channel and you don't want to use the RGB, we've included black and white images with all of these which could be used as a bump as well. Um, they're currently not being used so you can delete them, you could scale them down however you want to use them but we included them just uh, in case. Some of these materials do have a diffuse map, so when we use some of these it made sense to have a uh, color channel having variation to it. Um, and I can actually show you how that fares out. <clears throat> Edit out some of this garbage. But you can see some of these have diffuse color maps to them and they just made sense, like it gave it a little bit more character, a little bit more fun, and you weren't so reliant on that stuff. So to show you guys more in detail of how this works, um, we have this very simple scene. We have this white psych and our shader ball. And I'll just show you guys a little bit of how this works, um, just kind of playing around with some of this stuff. So for example, we're gonna take Geometric 108. So I'll open this up and kind of still see what we're going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this is a little big for me and I'd like to see this tiled a bit more. I'm just gonna crank this up a little bit and take a look at it. So I've adjusted the scale of my normal. Now I gotta make sure that I do the same thing for this down here. So these need to match in order for it to look the same. All right, so that's looking a little bit better, but uh, for using Lumen, wanna take a little bit more of this. I wanna make this emissive so we can see how this works and how this will light the scene. So I open this back up. So I'm gonna go up to Material G, which is the gold, and instead of making this uh, like a gold metal, I wanna make this emissive. So we're gonna do emissive color, and let's set this to red. So already you can start to see this is giving me more of an interesting effect. So if I wanna play with this even further, I'm just gonna turn off my lighting, maybe. So now I'm getting more of this effect and you can start to see using Lumen, which is how these were designed, now this emissive texture is starting to actually cast light on this scene, which you can see when we made some of this stuff, we got a lot of bang for our buck of helping getting subtle lighting, um, good textures, good pattern, all that stuff off of that. So I'm gonna fly around here and take a look at this and I'm gonna go back into my material and we can just start cranking this up and you can already start to see some of the effects of how you can get with having these different materials masked off. So in this mandala pattern, the metal starts giving it some decent depth to it, and the fabric that's being used is picking up on this, and then I'm actually using just the emissive channel with no lighting whatsoever, and Lumen is just doing the rest of the work in here. Um, so you can have a lot of fun with this stuff. If you're doing animated video, um, you can go in, pull in your materials, animate this stuff, have all sorts of fun with it. So. Really, we've been playing around with using it as wallpaper, using it as skin wraps, using it for every weird thing we could think of. Um, and we've been having some great results and it's just been loads of fun to play with. Thank you guys for buying this material pack. Please reach out to us if you have any questions at all. Happy to help. Have fun.